my philosophy of life. Do it to him before he does it to you. What do you want? Your gun. Baddest piers and the baddest harbor in the world. Everything moves in and out, we take our gun. Come on, I better get you home. There's too many guys around here with only one thing in their mind. Am I gonna see you again? What for? I really don't know. Ah, come on. Joey. Who'd want to kill Joey? Now listen, you know who the pistols are. You're going to keep still until they cut you down one by one? In the river. I said to Bud Schulberg, I said, that thing just broke up. He said, I've been working on a story about the waterfront for a long time. And he had these articles by Johnson and so forth. And he let me read the script, and I thought the script could be helped. And we worked on the script together. It was a great experience all along. I used to hang out in Hoboken, but not like Bud did. Bud was there all the time. Bud lived there. I mean, it was a great, great writing experience for me to watch him put that film together. Bud was great. He never stopped work. He never stopped work. And uh, I said to him, this is just the thing for Zanuck. Uh, this is right down Zanuck's line. He loves violent stories about big cities and so forth. And I showed it to Zanuck, and he said, um, make some suggestions, and he did. And then one day he called us into his office and said, I'm not going to do this, I don't like it. And in came a terrible, terrible guy that I'm not very fond of now, named Sam Spiegel. Sam, what drove Schulberg crazy? And uh, he said, let's open it up again. Let's open it again. Let's re-examine re it. Let's see if we've got it right. And he worked on that script, thinning it down and tightening it up. And Bud was great. He never stopped. And between them, they worked like hell. And I think, uh, although they had a lot of antagonisms, uh, I tell the thing in my book, but I'll tell it again, too. The uh, uh, one night, Bud was living in... Uh, in the country in Pennsylvania and one night his wife woke up about 7 3 30 in the morning and looked in the bathroom and Bud was shaving and She said Bud, what the hell are you shaving for at 3 30 in the morning? He said I'm going to New York. She said, what are you going to New York for? I said, I'm going to New York to kill Sam Spiegel. He was he was that mad at him You know he's and uh, they uh, he did go to New York, but he never killed Sam Spiegel. Sam Spiegel was a very tough guy uh, tough because I guess of his experience in Europe because he just escaped with his life, I imagine. And he kept at it, and Bud kept at it. And uh, uh, then we were lucky enough to get Marlon in it. And so we made a film that is, from the point of view of a screenplay, I think, perfect. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. You know, were you uh, Were you surprised that you won the, the uh, Oscar for the screenwriting that year? Was, was that a... Yeah, Kazan and I were amazed. All, all, the, more, all the more reason being that um, that movie was such an orphan in uh, in Hollywood. No one. I, I saw Kazan just the other just 
just before he died, and uh, I want a piece for the this uh, Scottish paper of all things. Mm -hmm. Seeing uh, talking with Kazan, and, uh, when we were trying to make that movie, everybody turned it down. They everybody. I mean, you can't name a studio with a Paramount, Warner Brothers, 20th Century Fox, Columbia, MGM. There was no studio that would do it. And they not only turned it down, but insult. I mean, say, why do you want to do this thing? They would ball Kazan out, as Zanuck did. He balled him out. He said, I was in the office with him when he turned it down. He said, Gadget, I think you're a great talent, but, but there's something wrong with you. He said, why do you want to do these crazy movies? He said, first you bring me Viva Z Zapata. Nobody wants to see Viva Zapata. Who cares about a goddamn Mexican, whatever he is. <laughs> and then you bring me this, he said. Honest to God, he just chewed him out. And that's the way it was everywhere we went. So finally getting it made on, really on a, on a shoestring. We made it for about $800,000 and they had to shoot it fast in 35 days. Now they want 80 days or more to make a movie. Mm -hmm. And the fact that, that we were so scorned for doing it, and that was so hard, uh, made it very much an uphill. And we, we thought being it's almost like an anti-Hollywood project, independent Eastern, that, um, that we didn't, couldn't win it. But we did want to win it. We really wanted to win it uh, as a... a as a weapon uh, on the side of of, of, of of independent films with a uh, eastern films with a social point of view because they're so because they're so hard to make so in that way yes we were surprised and pleased but we were still so defiant and we were so really if you pardon this question we were still so pissed off about this that uh, after the awards are given out formally, there's a, a governor's ball at which, as you see, all the stars come and in the press, and there's a, it's a big, big show on them. And uh, Kazan and I refused to um, go to the governor's ball. That, that we, we were still mad. And um, in, instead, we hired a back room of a Chinese restaurant and held our own just to kind of, <laughs> really, just to stick it to them. We were still, we were still mad when I saw it because then, just before he died, which was the last month, I saw him just a short time before he died, and almost the first thing he said to me, he said, but remember, he said, Zanuck wouldn't give a shit. He's still, because <laughs> then, 50 years later, is, is still, it's almost like the last thing he ever said. He's still mad. It was a maddening experience. It really was. Well, congratulations! Yeah. My God. So, so that was our, that was our feeling when we won it. We, we, we were none in the best state of mind, but we, we, we were not very gracious winners, believe me. We weren't. It didn't, it didn't win us stuff. We were so mad at Sonic and all these people. You know, they had tortured us, and I had gone almost, I'd, I'd really gone broke over it. I, I had a mortgage my. My farm, I was doing it on spec. Uh -huh. We weren't getting any money for it. And, uh, and it, it, it looked like a lost cause. That, that's what's so strange. Now, everywhere I go, people, oh, that's one of the greatest movies of all time. And, that's right. And I, think, and I think back and I say, yeah, boy, I wish you could have told Zanuck that. Right, exactly. <laughs>